Good morning. Thank you for allowing us a few minutes here to talk uh, on this wonderful day we call Tax Day. Uh, <laughs> uh, just day. as a little info, uh, I don't know if you're aware, but the Postal Service does not take any tax dollars to run its business. So just in case you've ever wondered if some of our tax dollars are going to the Postal Service, we are self-sufficient. We, we, we run our business just like you do on our sales of our stamps and our shipping products. So uh, tax day doesn't mean a whole lot to us today <laughs> except for a lot of mail coming in this mail stream. But uh, what I'm here to talk to you a little bit today about is our, our, our direct mail program, the Everydoor Direct Mail uh, program. Um, this is something that is uh, huge with the small to medium-sized businesses and even some of the large businesses that, uh, that are using this program. Because basically what it allows you to do is to target an area by a geographical area. In other words, what you're looking at is a, on our website, on the uh, usps.com website, there's a mapping tool. And the mapping tool allows you to choose the carrier routes that you want your mail to go to. So if you want to choose the carrier routes that are, that are in the villages, you can select those carrier routes and that's what you'll, your mail will go to. The routes on the mapping tool will show how many businesses there are and how many residential deliveries they are. You can also filter out the businesses and just do residential. So if you're looking at a business, uh, like say Truly Nolan, if you're looking at a, a business where you are, uh, you have a company or you have a, a, a business or uh, a customer already in a certain community and you want to do something like route efficiency where if you're going to be there anywhere anyway let's see if we can get a few more customers in that same area so that you can try to do as much work as you can in the area you can choose that route that that customer is currently on and see if you can get some more business by targeting that particular area so it's 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 a really good way of targeting um, in a non-targeting way you don't pay for a mailing list. There is no mailing list. There are no names and addresses on the mail. It just says local postal customer because it doesn't have to have a name. It's going to every delivery on that route. So we don't need, we don't need a name. And there's no permits. You don't have to buy a permit. If you, and any of you ever done direct mail before? So you know about permits, right? So with a permit, there's a $225 application fee and a $225 annual fee. So before you've mailed the first piece, you've spent $450. With the Every Door Direct Mail program, you're not paying any of that. So what it allows you to do, it allows you to do anything from a six and a, like this is a six and a half by nine postcard. It'll allow you to do an eight and a half by 12. It'll also let you do something like this, a folded piece. And if you've done direct mail, you know when you have a folded piece, you have to tab it, right? You have to put little tabs, not with this. The reason why is because this mail doesn't go through any machinery. The mail is taken, you drop it at the window to the, to the window clerk, and then the window clerk takes it and brings it back to the carrier's case. So there's no processing involved in this. So that's the wonder you know of why you don't have to do all this tabbing and everything so it makes it a lot more efficient now price <laughs> what's the cost of this all right so we got first class 49 cents currently postcard is 34 cents so if you're doing postcard mailing in this same type of thing you're looking at 34 cents all right with this eddm retail is 17 and a half cents you can't beat it you're getting it to, if you're doing a, a route with a thousand deliveries, it's $175 for postage. Whether you're doing the folded piece, whether you're doing the large piece, or whether you're doing this piece, doesn't matter. Now, of course, your, your printing costs will change depending on the size of whatever you're doing. But the mailing requirements are this, as far as the mail piece. It has to be greater than six and an eighth. You know, we have all these nice little requirements that we have. So six and an eighth. I don't know why I had to come up with the eighth, but <laughs> six and an eighth has to be greater than six and an eighth on the tall side or greater than ten and a half on the long side, one or the other. So like this, after it's folded, is uh, four and a quarter by 10.75. So it's not greater than six and an eighth here, but it's greater than ten and a half here. 
Okay, this one, six and a half by nine, it's greater than the six and an eighth this way, but it's not greater than the ten and a half. So it's one or the other. So when you think about mail in the mailbox, what percentage of people do you think actually go through their mailbox every day? What kind of percentage? Everybody. <coughs> Just about. Statistics show 81% of people go through and read their mail every day. So this is an opportunity for you with your business to actually get your message to your customers in that mailbox. Everybody goes through their mail, it's like a ritual. I'm with Postal Service for 30 years, but I'm a third generation postal employee. So the mailbox has been very important to me for a long time. So, you know, it was one of those things that, you know, my grandfather and my father, you know, it was like, go out and get the mail, you know, and you go run and get the mail. It's like an exciting thing and you go through. We call that the mail moment where you're going through the mail to see what's been what's being brought in there. And now as a you know, an, an older person, I want to say how old, but as an older person and I look through the mail now, I look at what businesses, especially what direct mail is in there, and see what kind of offers there are. And that's the key is to have something that's gonna catch that person's eye. You need to have, if you're gonna do a direct mail piece, you need to do something that's got a good call to action, something like a coupon. And just for a little tip, <coughs> the side that has the address and the postage mark, the indicia, is considered the front of the mailbox, or mail piece, okay? So when we put it in the mail, mailbox, that's the side that comes up. So when your customer is taking it out of the mailbox, that's the side they're gonna see first. So that's why you wanna make sure on this side is where you have whatever call to action, whatever coupon you're gonna have, whatever it is that you want them to see. Because if you put it on the back, you know, you have about three to five seconds for someone going through the mail to decide one of three things. They're either gonna read it, they're either gonna put it aside and read it later, or they're gonna throw it away. So you wanna catch their eye right then. Okay, so be sure you put those coupons or whatever call to action on this side. Now, I could go on all day about direct mail. I love direct mail. <laughs> I don't know how much more time I have, but I love the, the creative part, I love the designing part of it, and I love the, the fact that the mailbox is still very much alive in this digital age. We have a lot of products now that the, the direct mail is not you know, the only way to do mail. We have you know, social media, we have email, all that kind of stuff. But direct mail now connects all those things. You can have, you know what a QR code is? A little mm -hmm. box. You can have a QR code on your, on your mail piece. Have someone scan that, takes it to your website or takes it to a YouTube video or whatever you want to have them do. But you can connect direct mail to all these other social medias or internet sites and, and that kind of stuff. So. Um, you, one of the best return on investments is direct mail, and one of the, the highest re response rates is direct mail, even over email. I mean, how many times do you, <laughs> you go through your email box and see hundreds of emails, and you just delete, you don't even look at them. So that's the thing about direct mail, is that it's still very much alive. It's still one of the best ways to target uh, an area. Um, this Everydoor direct mail is very affordable. Um, and, and I'd be glad to talk to anybody a little bit more on this in detail if you're interested. Um, Denise is, is, is called me all the time now. <laughs> but we work very well together, so um, you know, anytime uh, we're going to try to, we're looking at possibly doing maybe an Everydoor Direct Mail actual class that would actually go through the nuts and bolts. Would you guys be interested in that? how that works I mean would, would that be something that might be interesting to you because we were talking about maybe getting together with a couple other chambers and seeing if we could get you know a larger group together and and really go through from from beginning to end how it all works because um, it you know there is some things that we want to we want to show you but um, this is just kind of to wet your whistle and to uh, uh, let you know a little bit about the program and if you have any questions I'd be glad to, to answer them. yes I heard you say uh, you can separate the businesses and the residents out yes. and just mail to the residents yes. and you just mail to the business. No, not yet. Uh, the only time, I, and I don't know if that's coming, we've, we've asked for that a lot, um, but it hasn't, hasn't shown up yet. The, um, uh, if there's a route that's 100% businesses, then 
it would obviously be just a business route. There are occasionally those. Um, it's not often, but um, there are routes that are 100%. But you can see, if you want to do mostly businesses, then on the mapping tool, it'll show the actual numbers. And if you want, you can sort it by like the highest number of businesses, and you can see like routes that have predominantly businesses, you know, with very few residential. So you can pick them that way. Also, uh, how many deliverable addresses do you have in the villages? Right now, I, cur I currently have almost 80,000. Wow. Is and that all villages? That's just the villages. Plus, I have Lady Lake. Let me, let me just jump in here and give you a couple quick pieces of advice, OK? Um, you bring EDM into my office. Okay, you bring it in today up until 4.30, it goes out, it is in their mailbox tomorrow. Please be cautious. I've had a couple new restaurants that have come into town and they're all geared up and they're so excited and they print their flyers. They don't plan, they'll give a 10% off coupon, but then they don't have the staffing to accommodate and then the customers get disgruntled because they had to wait an hour and 10 minutes to get their pizza. So coupons are great. Villagers love coupons. Buy one, get one free is awesome. They just eat that up. You know, restaurants, just be weary. If you're going to run that, make sure you have the staffing available so that you don't shoot yourself in the foot. You know, we want you to have a positive experience with it, but you have to be ready on the backside for it. And that's the same thing with salons or anything else. If you're going to advertise it, be ready for because they love the coupon part one thing that all the ladies I meet with the villages at least quarterly if not more I meet with a lot of people in the lobby they love color most of the time in the villages it's the women that get the mail <coughs> so they love color if you're gonna put your coupon on the front they like this one lots of color they look Black and white kind of bores them. It reminds them of a bill. So <laughs> if you get color, do something to grab their attention. We've had a couple golf cart companies that put some really cool ones that draw the men's attention. You know, some with, that have the neon lighting to it and, and some customized, you know, gator carts and that kind of thing. Add color. Add something that's going to appeal to the person that you think. If you're targeting, targeting 